Dear friends, tourism has experienced a real revolution in the past 50 years. In 1950, there was a mere 25 million international tourists crossing borders in a single year. Today, there is around 1.2 billion people traveling the world. Traveling has become a huge part of many people's life. When we travel, we come across new people, new sites, new ideas, and often our perception of the world changes as we see more of it. We definitely become better people. However, we must not forget that for many of us, traveling can still be quite a difficult process. 15% of the world's population is estimated to live in some kind of disability or another. This is, my friends, about 1 billion people around the world who may be unable to enjoy the privileges of knowing other cultures, experiencing nature as its fullest, and experiencing the thrill of embarking on a journey to explore new sites and new places. Accessibility for all should be therefore at the heart and at the center of tourism policies and business strategies. Not as a human rights only, which is important on its own, but also as a great market potential and as a great business opportunity. With the world's population aging, all of us will benefit sooner or later from universal accessibility in tourism. As we celebrate World Tourism Day today, let us all recall that all of the world's citizens have the right to experience the incredible diversity of our planet and the beauty of the world we live in. We thus urge all countries and destinations, as well as all the industry stakeholders, to promote accessibility for all in the physical environment, in the transportation system, in the public facilities and services, and in the information and communication channels. I wish you all a very, very happy World Tourism Day and a future full of enrichment and compelling travel experiences to be enjoyed by all. I thank you all very much.